the only Anyangu, and in today's video I'll be going over my favorite protective style for hair growth. So this right here is a weave. I've had it in for six months. A silken weave with a leave out. What did I say six months? <laughs> six weeks. I've had it in for six weeks, not months. Okay. And this is my favorite protective style to grow my hair because last year i had a weave and my hair grew so 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 much when i took it out and i was like oh my gosh this grew my hair fantastically so i was like why not get another one so i have a leave out and i think it's time to wash and condition my hair everything like my scalp the weave my leave out everything like i'm not the type that don't wash their hair when they have a weave like i still wash my hair so, if you don't believe me when I say this, you have to, because I'm telling you the truth. My hair is 4C. I've had this weave for six weeks so far, and I only straightened it twice. Two times I've only straightened it, and it's still straight. But I can see that it's kind of getting a little, like, fit frizzy straight. It sticks up, like, there's some strands sticking up. And sometimes, like, I have to, like, tie it down with the scarf because the roots are puffy so it sticks up and I'm looking at a mirror by the way it sticks up so it's time to just wash and just re-straighten it and have like a fresh straighten all over again so let me show you can you see like how it's like straight you see how it's straight and the new growth like it's puffy like at the root like you guys see yeah, like, do you see how it's, like, puffy? I don't know if that's new growth, but... Yeah, it's, like, puffy here. And you see how it's, like, straight? And then it gets puffy, like, at the root, almost. And it's, like, bouncing when I touch it, like... You see that? You know what I'm saying? It's, like... How, ooh, what's that? Like, yeah, it's dry. It needs to be washed. <laughs> Yeah, but do you guys notice like how it's like half straight, half puffy? And how you, you ask how do I keep it straight? Well, this is what I do to keep it straight. My problem with sewings before was that I couldn't keep the leave out straight and then give me heat damage because I have to keep straightening over and over again, but I found the solution. When I shower, I wear a plastic bag. I know it might be ratchet, I don't care, it works. A plastic bag and then a shower cap over and then I got this from Amazon it's the shower cap with the adjuster so you I always put it to the tightest setting the tightest tightest setting so it does not move when I shower and then I have this extra security it stays dry and it stays flat but I'm gonna rewash it just cuz um, it's just time to wash it revamp it up so i'll show you guys that getting started with the wash process so i'm doing it in a sink because weaves can get messy and the shed hairs of the weave can get all over the shower so i just like to do it in a sink for neater for a neater process so i'm saturating the hair in water and also saturating my scalp and i put my fingers in between the parts carefully without messing up the thread that's used to sew in the weave I go in between the braids and massaging my scalp to get any dirt, oil, and sweat that was in my hair. So I'll be using Nizril's anti-dandruff shampoo. I don't even think I need anti-dandruff shampoo anymore. There was just a point in the winter time where I had some, you know, really itchy scalp and that was the only thing that helped. And this is what I have left of the shampoo, so I'm going to keep using it. So. Uh, don't mind the back of my neck because it just looks crazy because all the braids are pulled up, you know So I have hair in the back of my neck. It's just it's, it's all pulled up into the braids. So yeah so now I just rinse off my hair and You know um, Yeah, I'm just rinsing off my hair and look at the water like look at the color of the water it looks brown but i think that brown is coming off from the the weave and not really my scalp because i've shampooed weaves before and it does this thing where it lets off this like brownish purplish liquid i mean liquid looking thing it just turns the water like a purple color i don't know why so here i am speeding through my second cleanse 
and I did a third cleanse off camera because I thought it would just be redundant to show three cleanses in the video. So yeah, here's me finishing up my second cleanse. So here I am after I blotted my hair with a towel. I'm really happy because my leave out reverted completely to natural showing that there's no heat damage. So here I am. I use a cheap conditioner on my weave because I just feel like that'll defeat the purpose of the weave if I have to use expensive products. But this is enough to get it, the job done with conditioning the hair. So I use a cheap swab conditioner on my weave um, just to soften it because after the shampoo it was feeling um, you know brittle and just you know straggly. So that's what I use on the weave. And on my leave out I use my Queen Helene Conditioning Cholesterol. Same that I use on the rest of my natural hair. That's what I use on my leave out because my leave out is still my real hair. You guys need to for remember all the time. Don't forget that your leave out is your real hair and you need to treat it as such. Don't forget. Now after I put the conditioner all over my hair, I tie it up and then I put it under a, an aluminum cap just to generate heat. This time I did not use a, I did not sit under the dryer or put any additional heat. I just used my body heat. Here I am after I rinsed out the conditioner from both my leave out and the weave and I'm getting ready to blow dry my hair and I blow dry my hair with the comb attachment just because the weave itself can be you know clumped together and, and tangled up after washing it so this is what I do until the hair is completely dry. waited a day it's not the same day that I washed it anymore <laughs> and that's because I let it air dry because the roots were not dry even though the hair was dry the roots were not dry so I had to let it air dry for a day before I straighten it so this is the hair it looks shinier now and it's a lot more you know soft I think because of the conditioner and then this is my leave out um, I braided it I put leave in on it and then I braided it to stretch it so I wouldn't have to use too much heat when I'm straightening it and I wouldn't have to um, blow dry it. So, yeah, so this is the hair. To start off my straightening process, I use Fantasia's heat protectant spray and I spray it all over the weave lightly, not too much because if you use too much, it can get oily. Next, I'll be using Cheese Silk Infusion Liquid to help give the weave a silky look and you just need to use a little bit. A little bit goes a long way because trust me, I learned the hard way if you use too much, it is going to be super oily and look way down. So do not use too much, please. Next, I'll be using Got To Be Glue's Freeze Spray Holding Spray, and that is because this helps prevent flyaways and give it that straight look. And now I just brush my hair to evenly distribute all the products. I am going to be doing the chase method with the rat tail comb and the flat iron. So here I am combing the hair out with the rat tail comb. I have my flat iron set to 410 degrees and I straighten in small sections track by track. It looks glued together because of the got to be glue spray, but once you comb it out and break the seal, it'll look so smooth. Yeah. 
Here I am back the next morning with my leave out looking like a tree. <laughs> oh, excuse me, y'all. I had a hiccup. But here I am parting my middle part and trying to make it as perfect as possible. My hair is stretched out a little more than what it was before because I left it in that braid. It's not as stretched as a blow dry stretch, but it's just enough where I can straighten it. And plus, I don't want to be extra with the heat by blow drying it. So I spray my heat protectant all over my leave out work that through and make sure it gets everywhere and focus on the ends because those are the first parts that always get heat damaged next i'll go in with this um, wax stick and i figured out that i don't like the wax stick because when i straightened it without it i felt like i got a straighter sleeker look so maybe i'll just leave the wax stick to the professionals because i did not like it but yeah i'm putting the wax stick on the roots of my hair because i thought it would make it sleeker <laughs> So I'm working with the left half of my leave out right now and I split that left side in half so it's like in a quarter now and then that one quarter I split in half again so it's like I hope you guys understand well you can see the picture of it so yeah and then I straighten it on 374 degrees I did not want to go to 400 because I thought I've been using too much heat so yeah and then after I straighten it, I go in with my hot comb at the roots just to try and get it more sleek. And I realized after I did this that this part is redundant because I didn't really see a difference after using the hot comb. Yeah. So yeah. And I still use the wax stick at this part because this was before I knew that the wax stick wasn't all that. Guys, I'm still learning about weaves and leave outs. Like I said before, this is my fourth time in my whole life having a weave and this is my fourth time that my first time that the weave actually worked out for me so yeah last time she made it so sleek and straight but it's good enough for me like this is actually really good work for me because i'm not used to weaves i've only had a weave four times in my life with this being the fourth time so i'm not used to weave so and the other times i had it, i had no idea what to do with it so i'm really learning and i'm really adjusting so yeah this is this is it this is it I was able to get my leave out straight with as minimal heat as possible. At least I tried. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more natural hair videos like this in the future. If you see me, you try to see what's up.